Hi, my name is Keith Long, and I am a product support lead at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will demonstrate how to replace the syringe plunger tip and the 8-port valve rotor in the TOCL Total Organic Carbon Analyzer. Part of the routine maintenance on the TOCL involves replacing the syringe plunger tip and 8-port valve rotor. The plunger tip is the white Teflon part located here in the syringe, and the rotor is inside the valve above the syringe. These parts play a crucial role in sampling and delivering precise injection volumes to the instrument for measurement, and need to be replaced periodically to keep the instrument working properly. The frequency at which these are replaced will depend on the sample matrix and the frequency at which the instrument is used. To perform this maintenance, you will need the black double-sided wrench that came with the TOC as well as a pair of needle nose pliers and a razor knife. You will also need a new valve rotor, a new syringe plunger tip, and the white jig that came in the box with the syringe. First, locate the circle engraved on the silver interrupt plate and make note of which port on the valve it is lined up with. This indicates the port the valve is open to, which is important for ensuring the new rotor will be inserted with the correct orientation. To remove the rotor, you will need to take the valve apart by disconnecting the motor drive from the valve. Use the larger side of the black wrench to loosen the large retaining nut. Lift the motor drive assembly up and off the valve. Use the slot on the side to hang the assembly on the screw located on the side of the syringe drive assembly. Use the smaller side of the black wrench to remove the valve retaining nut and set it off to the side. Use the pliers to remove the valve rotor. Locate the hole on the side of the new rotor and insert it into the valve, making sure it's the same orientation as the old rotor. Reinsert the spring-equipped rod and tighten the retaining nut with the black wrench. Please note that you may have to push down firmly on the spring-equipped rod to get the retaining nut to thread to the valve. The valve drive assembly can now be reconnected to the valve. Use the black wrench to tighten the large retaining nut. Now, we will move on to replacing the plunger tip in the syringe. First, go to the Maintenance screen and to the option for Change Syringe. For PC-controlled instruments, this can be found under Instrument, Maintenance, Replace Syringe. Press Preparation Start in the next window. For standalone instruments, push F5 for maintenance on the initial screen. Then use the down arrow key to highlight Replace Syringe and push Next. The instrument will now prepare the syringe for replacement and move the plunger down. Loosen the bushing on the side of the syringe and remove the sparge tubing. Remove the large retaining screw that connects the syringe plunger to the drive arm, making sure to not lose the locking washer. Firmly grasp the glass barrel of the syringe and unscrew it from the valve. Pull the black plunger out of the barrel of the syringe and use the razor knife to cut the old plunger tip off the plunger. Place the new plunger tip on the end of the plunger and use the jig to seat the plunger tip onto the plunger. It's very important to use this jig to seat the new plunger tip to retain the shape of the tip. Using a flat surface to seat the plunger tip will result in a deformed plunger tip. Reinsert the plunger into the barrel of the syringe and then screw the syringe back into the valve. Finally, replace and tighten the retaining screw to secure it to the drive arm. Reconnect the sparge tube to the syringe. Now that this is complete, you can select Finish Replacement. The instrument will perform the Zero Point Detect procedure used to calibrate the syringe. Thank you for watching. 
please visit our YouTube channel to check out other great videos. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.